Well, welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. And I'm your host, Irv Risch. And today, I kind of got a sad story for you. You know, there's happy stories and there's sad stories. Uh, but this is a sad story. But in our life, we could make it a happy story. So, with that said, the title of our story is Just Give Me Earth. Well, this is what it all means, and I'll get into the story here. Okay. Mr. Carter, or Charter, my boss, was well known in business circles. Uh, we liked, well liked by, by his company and feared by his competitors. He was a very successful manager of one of the company's largest branches. But he had no use for God and was ruthless in his dealings with others. All his energy went into getting ahead. Mr. Carter uh, often uh, ridiculed me for my love for the Lord Jesus, especially if the group of salesmen were around. He took advantage of the opportunity to have fun at my expense. One morning, I met my boss in an elevator as we were going to work, and I gave him a gospel track. He glanced at it, and he handed it back with the remark that I will never forget. Boy, you can have all the heaven you want, but just give me earth. Just give me earth. That statement fully expressed his whole desire in life. I was shocked at such a philosophy. You know, I've I've since learned that he was only one of millions who feel the same way. Not everyone is so blunt about it. Some will even say that they want to go to heaven when they die. They realize that they can't live on earth forever and have haven't heard uh, just a little of the horrors of hell. You know, they think that uh, heaven would, you know, would be perfect, uh, uh, but not hell. But earth is definitely their preference. Give me earth. That's kind of what they said. I want to talk to you about sudden death. A few years later, Mr. Carter's uh, sister died very suddenly, and with, within a week, his brother, without warning, died of a stroke. However, nothing seemed to change him. On Wednesday, Mr. Carter spent the day at his office as usual. He was feeling full of energy, and after dinner, he and his wife went out for the evening of fun. On returning home, it was about 2 a.m., he complained of being ill. The doctors diagnosed the flu. But the following day, he had lapsed into unconsciousness. He remained in a coma most of the time until about 3 a.m. on Sunday. Then he forever left everything he had loved so dearly. He died as he lived, without God and without Christ. What a fool. But here's another fool. That's spoken of in the Bible. How like the man the Lord Jesus spoke of in the 12th chapter of Luke. He too had all his treasures on the earth. The man planned to build larger barns and increase his wealth. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul is required of thee. Luke 12:20. Well, Mr. Carter would not be guilty of carelessness in business. But in the most important transaction of his life, he had proved he was a fool. Even if he could have gained the whole world, he had lost his soul, a loss that can't be calculated. You know, God speaks of this class in the book of Revelations as the dwellers on earth, it is also translated earth dwellers, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> which express the choice of millions in that book. 
God reveals the judgment uh, that are about to fall on such people. The big question is, what about you? What about you? Are you guilty of this foolishness? Are you exchanging your immortal soul for what you will leave behind when you die? God said death has passed upon all men, for all have sinned, Romans 5.12. God had warned you that after death comes the judgment, Hebrews 9.27. Don't wait any longer to come to God. Confess that you are a sinner and accept the Savior. He has proven. Don't wait for a more favorable opportunity. It may never come. This night your soul may be required of you. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what the day may bring forth. Proverbs 27, 1. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? Hebrews 2, 3. Well, with that said, I'm going to end my podcast. And remember, truly, Today is the day of salvation, and God is out here, and you can find him in your Bible. Just pick it up and read it. And the wonderful good news of salvation is there for all, if you'll only read it, believe it, and accept it. It's a free gift. And when you think about gifts, you have to think about they're free. They don't cost you anything. All you have to do is receive them accept them. And that's what the Bible is all about. Well, I'm going to leave you now. Have a great day till we get together again. Bye for now.